What is up guys, it's Vasco here and welcome back to a brand new video of Let's Build Dale. So I'm using something different to record if I'm using a program called Action and uh, it usually would have a, a watermark over there but I've managed to find a cracked one because I don't pay for any shit anymore. Uh, but anyway, Fraps has given me some problems so I'm going to use this instead. I'm still getting quite low FPS but as I upload this at 30 frames per second you're not going to notice any difference. Uh, it, it's also being exported as 720 uh, HD uh, pixels so... Um, uh, the quality should be okay as well. Uh, it will probably be rendered at uh, the ship quality it renders at, unless I render it as AVI. Uh, but that does give me some errors sometimes, so uh, I just have to kind of uh, trial and error, I guess. So the video could take a couple of days. But at the time I'm recording, it is really late on Friday evening. It's 20 to midnight at the moment. Uh, but I've got the house to myself, so I might as well take the opportunity. Uh, so I, I could have done this early, I know, but I decided not to. I did record um, this barn interior, which I will show off. But the video for some reason didn't save. It recorded, but then when I pressed F9 to stop the recording, nothing was in the folder. So it didn't mean like a, a new recording started. So it mean that something was recorded, but it never saved. But anyway, I think I might as well start getting uh, into the video and showing everything that's happened. So this is a chicken coop here. It's just kind of in this corner along with the pig's pen. It's just got mud in the pig's pen and uh, some water troughs and some beds. And uh, the chicken coop's got less mud, but it has got some mud in there. Uh, this is the main stables. It's got enough room for five horses, I think, or one, two, no, three, uh, four horses. And it's got some apples there, some water, just everything you need. Some air holes up here uh, to make it easier to breathe. And uh, I would have horses in there, but they can climb up on here, jump out. So yeah, I decided to go against that. And that's why in the barn there's also no horses, because there is room for one. But uh, the bugger escaped, so I had to remove him. I had to uh, smite him down. Okay, so um, this is the farmer's house. It's quite big. It's three floors, and actually it's, it goes up to four floors at some points. Yeah, so it's a quite a big house. But if you think about it, he is going to be a farmer, so he does need quite a lot of room. And he is going to be fairly rich. And I was thinking of splitting this into two buildings. And having the guy on the right with the with uh, more housing side own the, uh, the barn. Because the barn's pretty big. It is also four stories, uh, which I, I will show off, but only three of them are actually usable. The top one's just nothing, and I'll show that when I go in there. And I was going to have this side only, uh, this side here. Uh, there is something I did like about uh, what I was going to do in this space, uh, because if you look on the time lapse, I did build this fireplace area. I got the inspiration off of Facebook. I saw what some people put in their gardens, and I thought it looked really cool. So I decided to adopt that idea. So now we're going on to the uh, the bigger part. I, I did say I've shown the well, but that's there anyway if I didn't. Uh, so the interior took me about 30, yeah, I'd say about 35 minutes. Uh, and it was all on camera, but it, it, none of it got uploaded. There was a horse there, but he climbed up on the hay somehow. I think he climbed up on the barrel and then could climb over here like this. And he just started walking out. Uh, so I had to smite him. Uh, there's this levy system for a crane. And that looks all right. It's just to lift up some uh, barrels and stuff like that. There's some spare hay there, just when it when they need to bring some more. That'll be like the newer, the uh, older hay, which is the stuff that's about to be used. Uh, this is a cart. This is it's, it looks more like a uh, what did I call it in when I was making it? Uh, I can't remember what I called it, but I did give it something. It, it looks more like a, a wagony go kart, but it looks pretty cool. You'd think there'd be a horse in the front here, and it'd just be pulling him along. And he'd have something in the barrel there. Just a, a little wheelbarrow as well with some horse feed in it. Uh, I know it's not actually horse feed, but I've just referred it to be some animal feed. Uh, yeah. And there's more animal feed here. Again, that's kind of in quotation marks, which is just the close up and get to looking like it. Because uh, they do eat these like seed sort of things, and it's just they, what they can eat, really. So, more hay here. Some crates, which could have more food in, just stuff like that. Bit of wood, firewood. Uh, more te uh, they're meant to be tables. Uh, more crates and more hay. And of course the uh, the levee system for the crane goes up to uh, both levels. And this is the top floor, because uh, of course uh, there isn't actually a floor up here. And I've got this uh, these kind of like air holes, because if you think about it, it's just windows really giving you light and there's not going to be much oxygen in there. So yeah, I just felt like it would be a good addition to get some air flowing. Okay, uh, and uh, there's some bookshelves here for just some stuff that might be medicine or you never really know for the horses. Uh, some stack tables here. They were difficult to put in because, of course, they're, these blocks are biomed. Uh, some stacks of wood as well for fire. Um, hay as well and a couple more tables. Uh, some wine there and um, some other stuff. Of course, there will be wine and stuff in like a basement as well. 
but um, that's just a little bit of it. That could just be bottles of water. Don't really know. But uh, anyway, that's uh, all the interior there is. I haven't done much on the actual mainland of Dale uh, since, but I have pretty much completed the vineyard now. And yeah, I think it's looking all right. So the walls are starting to blend in a lot better now, which is good uh, with all the uh, extra add-ins. And I did remove this tower if you didn't already know. Uh, I might have did that in the, I might have shown that in the last video uh, where it had commentary. All this is done now and it looks a lot better. I think in the vineyard episode they were like, I think I had already removed the uh, halves here. Because it did go all the way down through the middle of each one and I removed that for space. And it just simply looks a lot better. Uh, of course I, I've moved all this back and uh, put in some blocks here. Do need to put slabs in there just to make it look a bit more neater. And for each of these diagonal buildings, I've kind of uh, gone, I kind of changed the design. So it was all kind of flat on one level like that, but now it's, it looks more like this, and it looks a lot better. So um, down here, I've changed the uh, the tiling to look like this. Uh, this one, I don't know what you call it, but similar to the cafe here, which of course isn't done. And this is such a huge building, but it looks pretty cool anyway. So that, that's staying for definite. Uh, yep, uh, and there's this kind of like garage area. I don't really know what's going to go there And there's just uh, a market stall there and this temporary bridge here, which is go it's going to change It's not going to stay like that. So that's I think all the progress. I'm trying to think I've done any more um, oh, there, There's a couple of garden areas that I've added on but they're not really important and not worth a show But yeah, I think that's all the progress I've done So I was struggling on what I was going to do this episode because I, I know as I said, this was quite an urgent video and I just wanted to make one. That was mainly the follow-up video to uh, the farm build, anyway. And the farm's not done yet, of course. Uh, there are still some details that need to be put in place. And a windmill. And, of course, when I was uh, when I attempted to make the last video, uh, I was having some errors. And even after I built this, I was getting errors. So I'm just going to build another one of these. Uh, it's just going to be another small one. But it's just going to be across here. Well, I say it's going to be small. It'll be about the same size. I'll just be like that. Yeah, that's about the same size. Uh, we're going to use a different color of wool. Uh, wool? Yeah, we'll use wool this time. We won't use carpet. Uh, we'll go for light blue, and I think we'll go for orange because they're, they're quite weird colors, but they can go t they can go together quite well. Uh, yeah, I, I like I like the combination of them. I'm trying to think of uh, who actually uses that combination of colors, like any uh, sports teams, but I can't think of any. Uh, but yeah, okay. So I have the fence there. Oh. I do like to have them raised, so I'll have uh, a block of three there. And what I'll do, I'll do each one with the orange first, and then I'll raise it. And uh, as we go along, so if I just do it the same level on each one, and then I will raise it up where I think it will look nice. So we'll probably, I think it would look good raise up there. Okay, and maybe one more. No, no, I won't. Buy. Uh, in fact, just because I won't be raising up one more, I'll have it like that. And now I'll go in and put in the blue box. They will just be very random. They're just randomly placed in there. But they look good. And it's, it's just something that's needed. And yeah, because if you have the same colour, it does look a bit bland. Of course, I can't use slabs, which is quite annoying. But I kind of just have to roll with that and live with it. So, the, I think one of the hardest parts is... Thinking of something unique for each seller to sell, uh, because of course you can only have a certain amount of ideas, and uh, yeah, it can be hard to think of some. Because I've had like, because uh, you, you're gonna have markets that sell it, and yet you're gonna have proper shop, proper like stores that sell it. So um, sell the items. So yeah, you can have kind of just like basic shops, but they they don't really look as good. Uh, and market stalls kind of take up a lot of space quite easily. So I'm, I'm trying to think of something that they could sell. Melons is a good idea. Um, I would like to have the head options. Yeah, maybe he could sell fruit. You, I know I know it doesn't offer much fruit in this game, but um, yeah, I don't know where I can get any other fruit from. Um, maybe if I go into the cobweb. You got uh, a veg you got carrots and vegetables there, so maybe if I have fruit here, that's flowers. Um, I sort of leaves, but they're not really fruit. I'd say that's a fruit. Would you? Would, 
It's, it's got like an exotic fruit. I think we'll, we'll claim it as some sort of exotic fruit. Uh, I need the rope. That doesn't look right, does it? Um, no, that doesn't work. Uh, fence, will that work? Yeah, that'll have to work. Alright, okay. We do need something else though. Maybe if we change the biomes, it might help. No, nope, we don't want fish. But we can have that. I think that'll work. And we can have another one on top. But we do need to find some more fruit-like options if we can. That would work. I'd say they're bananas. Would you say they're, would you go to that extent to say they're bananas? Yeah, I think so. And I'm going to have rope below them. Uh, that looks pretty cool, but it, it's not relevant. Okay, come on, there must be some somewhere. There you go, that, that'll do. Okay, so this is good to kind of sell fruit in that. And I, I want to use the gold again. And he'll have a bookshelf here. And then the money can just go on there. Oh. Oh wait, it's biomed, isn't it? It's not, uh... I keep forgetting that, but it is biomed and, and not, um... Just the metadata. So yeah, there you go, there's a, a, there's a little fruit market there. Uh, it's, it's not much, but it, it's just a basic one. Because you, you do get uh, limited blocks, of course, with any game, really. So, uh, creativity can only go so far. So yeah, this area is starting to fill up before we can get onto this side. I really do want to get onto here, but I, I'm also desperate to hold it on. Because as I said, I do I do want Conquest Reforged to uh, not hurry up exactly, but I, I do want to start working on there. But I think a screenshot of this side would look pretty cool. Because we, we are approaching the halfway point. If I just show the map, uh, it's not going to be a long ep episode, but uh, yeah, you can see. Apologies for the tree side there. Yeah, it does do that. And of course, this is the map that you can actually see. And you can see the, uh, the water colours changing because... I did have a look at it in default texture pack and it did look a bit weird. But yeah. Alright. Because it, it doesn't take biomes in, it, into factor. As you can tell, there's snow blocks there. When really they're dirt slabs. And they're not dark either. So it doesn't take metadata into effect either. Just the texture pack you're using. Uh, so you, you can see the, the market there. You see the main market there. I'm thinking of having another one on this side. And I'm thinking of having the palace here. Uh, I do need to kind of lay this out, and I, I think I will do that, because I didn't do that on this side. This side, I would say, is slightly smaller. I do have a green line there, as you can you can just see. I'm not sure if you can see my cursor. I'm hoping you can, because that would really make it easier. But uh, I will just zoom in a bit more, and I can't exactly refer to the square. Uh, but anyway, next to, the, next to here uh, will just be a couple of houses, and they'll probably circle around here. And then here will probably be a market. And then just a few more houses spread around here. A road going to the market. Uh, these two roads joining up from these bridges. And just a, uh, probably one road going down here and a few houses. They, they can't be too big, of course, because uh, it's quite a big area. Of course, you've got the big town hall here. And that, that is huge comparing it to other buildings. Which isn't a bad thing. You compare it to the very first house, which is that tiny one there. Uh, yeah, you do notice some difference. And uh, yeah. So also with Erebor, I, I think I might as well bring this back into uh, consideration. Uh, I do want to rebuild this, and that's the reason why there is not a download link for this map. There will be eventually, but that'll be after Dale. So before I will work on Ravanian, um, not on Ravanian, on Eskaroth, there will be uh, a download for Erebor and Dale itself. Uh, I do, I did want to have a, a backwards door, but, but so by world edit somewhere, I think it's right here. Over here, I had to remove that. I think it's about here uh, because uh, it was it was too wide and high, so it didn't work there. Raven Hill will be about here, and the secret gate is supposed to be over here in actual token mythology, uh, token mythology. But I will have to change it over here because of where I actually have the uh, the treasure um, chambers, which is about here, uh, just about there. <laughs> okay, and you can see the snow looks up there, so I do need to go over and change that. But uh, I will do that in spare time after I finish Dale. So yeah, there is still a lot of work to go. And if you look at um, about how massive uh, Erebor is, I can of course go into it a lot more. And there is a lot I want to do with it. And as you can see, if you come right here, that it also drops a lot. So the mountain is a lot bigger than you, you think it is. Uh, so yeah, I think that looks pretty good though. And I think that I think that will draw this episode to a close. And so not much has happened. 
but uh, it is a part two and a follow up, and I did kind of explain what's going to happen. I do have a lot of uh, time on my hands, video, 30 videos by the time I go back to college uh, in September, which I think is doable in a month if I upload nearly every day or uh, I make videos uh, whenever I'm free and then I can upload them on a daily basis, which is possible if I can get each video to render out a quality I am happy with. I really like these houses, how they just join up. Just had to mention that. Uh, I do want to give a couple of uh, shout outs too because I don't actually put links in my description. But I do want to say thanks to Triliton who I know watches my videos quite regularly. And shots, I use the Triliton shaders, but he also used Conquest of the Sons, which is these ones right here. He made them originally, I believe it was Monster Fish, but he develops them from now on. And they're a bit warmer than his Triliton ones because his Triliton ones are a bit uh, dark and they're a bit more moody in a sense, but they're, they're still good. Yeah, you can kind of tell they're, they're a bit more Halloween based, uh, which I which I like, but they don't suit every build. And I, I think I did put that con constructive criticism when I um first used them. I was like, they're a bit dark, uh, heavy. So yeah, I do shaders sometimes, and I have done that with uh, the uh, Sonic Eaters ones as well. Uh, I also use the Kuda shaders; uh, they're really popular on me. And of course, this is the Conquest texture pack. So if you do not um, use Conquest, you're just a random watcher. There's no bloody clue what it is. I recommend you download Conquest for Forge, not 1.7, because it is tiring. But just go out and uh, download Conquest for Forge. It's free, just Google it and install it. It's really simple and easy to do. And some of the builds you can make with it is impressive. And yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, you can like, comment, subscribe. Uh, please leave a like below and subscribe, share the video, it does help a lot. Uh, more than you'd think if you don't do YouTube. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching, goodbye.